I want to talk about a job that we did today. I'm calling this one Letter Run, Kyle, and you'll see why. First off, let me explain the job. You can see there's two redwood trees there on the right that are dying. There's a trunk canker disease that is devastating our redwoods. So we got this new guy, Kyle, here, and we have to take out this leaning redwood because it's actually coming up. Uh, the roots are start starting to lift. And Kyle's a great guy. He really is a, a, a very smart guy. He's strong. He's a great surfer. But he doesn't have any experience in tree work. So Kyle is one of my son Kalen's good friends. And he said he really wanted to learn tree work. So he's only been with us a few weeks now. This is his first time roping. And he'd seen some roping from the other guys, but he hasn't really done it. I wanted to jump in. I wanted to say, okay, here's how you do it. But then at the same token, I, I wanted my son, Kalen, to instruct his groundsman and, and really give him some directions. Kalen assumed that Kyle would understand things a little bit better than he did. So at one point, we said to uh, Kyle, I said it to him, as well as Kalen. Kalen said, let her run. And I know what letter run means, and Kalen knows what letter run means, but apparently Kyle didn't really know what it meant. So I saw him with the wrap on the tree. He put a good wrap around it. I know he wasn't going to get into trouble. And the idea here is when you cut the top, you let it run for quite a ways before you stop it. And what that does is that takes all the inertia run, out of that, that drop. If you hold onto the rope tight, then you are in for a bit of a bit of a jolt because the the weight of the top of the tree uh, you'll see in a second here it's uh, it's coming up real soon by the way I've got the drone out here and having some good fun there it goes oh he should have let it run let's see that a little closer oh man see he held on to his saw though if he'd have dropped his saw on his lanyard, that would have been spinning around. Let's let's see it in slow motion here. Watch what's going on there. He's holding on to his saw. Hopefully he's turned it off. I don't remember if he's turned it off or not. I hope he did. But it happened so fast that uh, had Kyle let that, that top go all the way down and slowly stop it, this jolt would not have happened. And boy... <laughs> He's tied in, but you know he could have stabbed himself with his spurs there. He could have hit himself with the saw. A lot could have happened. So anyway, it all worked out okay. But this is an important thing to see. A lot of people don't understand exactly what it means to let the branches or let the top run when you make the cut. Galen was a little embarrassed here. It wasn't really his fault. Hang your head low there, Kyle. It actually wasn't Kyle's fault either. Um, we should have all had a, a safety talk. We should have talked about it a little bit better. But a lot of times you assume that people understand something. And uh, we clearly said, let it run. And uh, he didn't quite understand what he meant. But instead of let stopping run, us... Kyle! <laughs> Poor guy. We're going to rub it in for a while. This is an interesting video. Uh, Kalen showed me this and I had to share it. You'll see what goes on. This is a real screw up. This poor guy almost ate it. He did. Look at that. Saw swung around. Oh! Ah! Oh man. Could have killed him.